everyone. If you would like to make a Fortnite thumbnail like this with Photoshop, stick to the end to see how I do this. Have a good day. What's going on everyone and today we will be I will be showing you how to make um a free Fortnite thumbnail guys on Photoshop. It's really really easy, so let's get started. So basically what you're first gonna gonna wanna do is open Photoshop and we're just gonna create a new file. This is all starting from scratch. You're gonna want 1280 by 720 for the width and the height just because um, on YouTube thumbnails, that's what they require it to be. So here, <clears throat> we're just gonna name it thumbnail, okay? And we should be good to go. So we have our layout right here. That's easy. If you have never used Photoshop before, I guess this will be your first day using it. So basically, you can either um, import you can either import files or you can just drag in files. I like to drag in files because it's a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have I have a file right here in my finder. I'm gonna just drag it in like that. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna press enter and it'll be a, and it'll be all good. So I do have this background already here. I'll have a link in the description for where to find these type of backgrounds. I have a whole Google Drive folder and uh, I didn't make it, I grabbed it from someone else, but it's free backgrounds for thumbnails. Okay, so now that you have your background here, you're gonna want to have a Fortnite character. So, I don't, what I'm not doing is copying all these thumbnails. I'm not like copying pasting the thumbnails for my own. I'm literally just gonna grab a picture and cut out the, um, the avatar. So, this looks like a good one. We're gonna go ahead and take this. Here we go, copy image, you just right click and then you can copy image. Let's go back here and we're going to command V, we're going to paste that, okay? So, oh by the way, I'm just going to do this right now, rasterize. If there's ever that sign like on the um, on the layer, always rasterize it. You can just do that by right clicking and clicking this layer. So right here we have this layer on top of the background and what we're going to want to do now is click this tool right here. There's going to be a magnetic lasso tool and um, the regular one. So you're going to want to look, uh, pick this one and it's the e it's just the easiest one to use. And what you're going to want to do is just trace around it. Just click it. It's, it's going to drag along with it. So you can just keep doing this along the body. Try as best as you can to lasso around this. And eventually you're going to connect to um, this point right here. So just keep going around here. And uh, a reminder, you can just, you can get whichever Fortnite character you want really. As long as it's out there in a, like a picture. And it should be pretty easy like this. And you're going to finally want to connect it. And then right here, don't do anything. You're going to see these squiggly lines, I mean these dotted lines like ants around it. You're going to want to copy, command C, and paste it, command V. So now you see we just created this new layer since we copy and pasted what we already had. So you're going to want to go back here, click on this tool, and you're going to want to hide this layer. So now we have this layer right here. And now you see it's not really like fitting onto this, so we can do Command-T to transform it. And... Hmm, I guess, I guess it looks better right here. I guess we can do this, make it a little larger, then rotate it like that. See, look, that looks pretty good. So now we can add, a, we can start adding effects. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's add effects first to this person. So before it used to be this, we cut it out and we pasted it right there. So we have this and we have our background. You know what? I'm going to apply effects to the background first just to make it look cooler. So what you're going to want to do. Okay, everyone, I'm back. So basically, okay, we left off here. I needed to, um enlarge the screen so we can so we can see everything after this we're gonna apply effects so you click on the layer that you want which is our background <clears throat> and you just go to image you can adjust the brightness and contrast which, which I will do because eventually we're gonna blur this and I think that should be good enough we're gonna go to filter blur and um, motion blur I feel like is pretty good 
So we're gonna add this motion blur. It just adds a really cool effect in the background. It's like kind of blurred now and puts more emphasis on, on the text that we're about to put and the character. <clears throat> so I guess we can move this a bit too. And now with adding effects here, we're gonna go down to this FX. We're gonna, bl gonna go to blending options and you can do a stroke, which is this. And you can change the color too and stuff. I, I think it's okay, but what I'm really gonna do here, I guess, Actually, should I do stroke strokes? Some sometimes look better, but for this purpose, I'm guess I'm just gonna do outer glow. You can change that to white. That other color did not look really good. And we can change the size like that. You see that and spread makes it thicker or um, less thick. So he see here, outer glow isn't as deep as a stroke is. A stroke is like a full line, while an outer glow is literally just a glow. So that looks good right there. You can adjust the size or whatever you want to your preference. So we're good there. We got the background and the character. Now for the text. So we choose the T and we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to first type in the words how to. Now I don't really like this font so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to try to change the font. So let's see, let's see. There's not many good fonts right now, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna get, we're gonna choose Global just cause. So then you, if you hold Command down and uh, you do this, you can increase the width of this. And so I'm gonna just adjust this, rotate it a bit. Okay, I'm gonna just put that right there, and you you can press. Um, oops, what did I just do? Okay, you can just click off of this, and now we're going to add effects like last time. We're going to go to blending options, and we are going to go to stroke, and that'll be a black stroke. Now for this one, we can do uh, we can do a cool some cool stuff with it. We're going to put some gradient here, and if you click on the gradient bar right there, you can change the actual color so let's see actually i think black should be fine there let's get a nice um hmm i don't know if i, I don't know if i'm liking this okay this this color looks fine okay we're going to do that color like that and that that should be good and you can also um make that a new pre uh preset by just clicking new so we're okay with that and actually you know what we're gonna add an emboss which is like kind of a 3d texture you can increase the depth to how much you want i'm just gonna keep on how it was before it wasn't that great and you could add different stuff too, like inner glow and stuff. I think I I am gonna add a bit of inner glow like that. Okay, so look, we have this preset right here. Now we can add another text layer. Uh, let's say how to make make a. You know what, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do the word make, make Fortnite thumbnail on Photoshop. Hold up. Here, I'm just gonna put that right there. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did before. Bellum Boss, Inner Shadow, oh, my bad. Wait, yeah, Inner Shadow. I'm not sure if I said Inner Glow before, wait. There we go, wait, never mind. Here's inner glow. I'm gonna make this white, put the bevel and emboss, we're good there. And our stroke and our gradient, which we can change easily because we just made that preset earlier. Okay. And now, uh, Fortnite. 
type this out we're literally just going to be doing the exact same thing for each one and it's not even going to look bad guys trust how to make fortnite okay see look how easy this is boom 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 and boom easy as pie let's go okay your inner glow change that to white Bell bevel and boss should be good how to make fort and actually i should i should add free because you know people like free stuff actually no i don't i don't need to add free do i yeah i don't need to add free how to make fortnite thumbnail here we go and let's do this too bevel and boss inner glow stroke gradient it's literally it's so easy guys you, like it's so easy how to make fortnite thumbnail hmm okay that we're gonna do actually you know what look guys okay so here i don't want to put the word on photoshop so i'm gonna just search up arrow png you always want to get a png here let's let's look for a good arrow let me see this is this png yes this is indeed png oops uh let's go here it wasn't working before for some reason there we go here we're gonna do this and we're also gonna get the photoshop logo here we go just gonna copy this image and command v command t to or if you're on windows control t but command t on mac to transform the image here on this right here and the cool thing about this if we press enter it's covering the words here we can just put it under that okay you know actually i want it uh see sometimes these things get hard because it's a bit crowded but this if we just move that over here and do that we should be yeah we're good we're good and we can also put an outer glow around this and it should look pretty good so do this and the size okay we put little outer glow along that and i don't really like how my arrow is like that it's, it's like orange and stuff and that is not what I want. So I'm going to increase this a bit. And since this is covering the character, I'm going to move this and put it below the character. It's below the character now. And if we come back up here. Uh, yeah, the arrow is still there. We can ad go to image, adjustments, levels. And we can do... We can, I guess we can do the red, I guess. Let me, let's see. Uh, change it. There we go. More brighter things just give a bigger appeal, I guess. And we can do this, add a stroke to it. Actually, that does not look that great. Here, let me put it back to black. Maybe that'll be better. Yep, and we can also put an outer glow like before. Except this one will be white. And we should be good. So, how to make a Fortnite thumbnail. On Photoshop for free. After you do that, just save as. I'm gonna cover this up, but you can save as PNG and save it to your desktop or wherever you usually save it, and you should be good. And when we save that, we're just gonna click OK, and you should be good. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment if this helped you out. This is really easy. It's super, super simple to make a Fortnite thumbnail like this. And I hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See ya.